Hello, my name is Peter from SearchWeb, the leading mobile app intelligence data and analytics company. This is a quick tutorial on how to use the uh, spreadsheet functionality of the advanced data tools part of SearchWeb. So by now you've logged on to your account um, and you've already got a, and you're probably on this particular page. So once you're there, go into Sheets, into the spreadsheets in Google Docs, and we'll go in and start a new sheet, and then this functionality requires an add-on to be installed. To do that, you go into Add-ons, you get the add-on. And we look for search. There's search man for sprint for sheets. Select our account that we want to use and provide permissions. Now it installs the add on into our, um, our Google Analytics. As you can see, it's installed. And we go in and fetch data for apps. Now the first time you do this, it will ask for an API. You get your API from your API key in usage, and you enter the key there. Cut and paste that key, and then enter it in. Subsequent times, um, it will just go into and you'll see this menu. So the first thing we can do, just to do a quick um, data search, is we'll just fetch data for the default of US, iPhone, all of the categories and the top three apps. And it will start populating the spreadsheet here. As you can see on the left, this is the name of the, uh, the particular sheet within your spreadsheet um, that has your search. And if you do different searches, you'll see that you'll get, um, or that you'll get different sheets populated. So, it's now what it what this is actually doing is going out and um, querying our um, uh, our database of all the 4.6 million apps um, and then doing the report given the, the query you just given. So there is there's a search there's the answers um, and then you can then take the spreadsheet. Right, you can see the uh, various uh, report on it, and then do what you like with that spreadsheet. For example, save it, download it, put it into another sheet. Here's yeah, so here's another function. As you can see, there are many functions and many searches you can do, uh, or, or or queries you can do um, on using this this tool. So one I was going to do for you is. Um, Let's keep it on iPhone again, and we'll do look-alike apps. So, one particular app uh, that I'm interested in is Top 11 Soccer, and I'm going to put that number in. And check. Yep. So, that will now fetch all the look-alike apps as, um, associated using a proprietary algorithm. Um, that is like the uh, Nordius Top 11 app. And now here you can see it's doing the count and um, and you know, it's created another content there um, and then we'll provide you a, um, a list once the search is done of all of the apps that are, are similar. Now one of the powerful features that um, that we have within the tool is any of the searches you can do manually here, um, you can also do as a schedule. You can actually do this at any time and it will um, uh, send an email to you of, of that actual search. So that way you can have a regular update um, of particular, um, uh, let's say, let's do the top apps for example. So let's schedule. 
So we connect to the Google account. So it knows your email. It allows that. So then it will be able to email you. That account's connected. And then say every day or every week you can set the time. Say 8 a.m. So when you wake up. And it will fetch all of the categories, top three apps, your schedules. So that will mean that you have um, updated, that means you have a regular report every day. And you can see you can have all of the different jobs you put, put it on, um, on a schedule. So that really concludes how to start using the spreadsheet functionality. Um, I hope that's useful. As you can see here, this was the free plan and, um, and this require this allows you to have a certain number of searches for free. Um, and should you want to upgrade, then you can um, uh, go to the unlimited plan and uh, sign up for that. Thank you very much.